So bootstrap basically works in a series of rows across and columns vertically. Um, we are going to lay out a container for the entire body content of our page and then we will have our first row which has 12 columns across and if we break this up we look at our logo here we have a logo that takes up approximately three columns and then navigation that takes up the remaining nine to equal the total 12 columns across so let's use some of the built-in bootstrap class names to start laying out this structure in HTML so in my template I had a container pre-made uh, don't forget to close your closing div for that container at the end um, the keyword for rows in Bootstrap is row, and the keyword for columns uh, depends, again, on the documentation, uh, depending which size of column you would like to use. Uh, if we look back at the documentation for the grid system, you'll see we have col XS, col SM, col MD, and col large. Uh, we can use any of these depending on what size we would like to set as our smallest default that we'll have this column layout. I'm going to use column small just because I'm comfortable with a tablet displaying my multi-column layout. I think a tablet in portrait orientation would do just fine uh, with this style of layout that we're working with here. In some cases if you have more columns you might want to start with your uh, medium-sized desktop device instead. Um, but we'll start with small. I'm comfortable with this particular layout using uh, small columns. So inside of my first row I'm going to make another div for my first set of columns and the class that we are going to apply is col-sm-3 because if you recall from our original Photoshop layout that logo area took up approximately three columns so that will be our first div don't forget to close it I like to throw comments in here so that I can tell which closing div goes with which opening div so this is the logo column and then we need the column for our navigation by the same token we're going to use column small and we're going to use nine for the remaining uh, nine columns in our 12 column layout close it now let's add some content into these two columns that we've set up. So first we're going to add our logo into the first column. And I'm going to go into my images folder and get logo top. And then in the second column we have our navigation. So I've got an unordered list that I have very craftily prepared with copy paste. Um, we've just got default placeholder hyperlinks in here for now. Um, you would obviously change those to their actual destinations once you build out the rest of the pages for your website. So there are some classes that are built into Bootstrap that will help us to uh, lay out this navigation so that it doesn't just look like a bulleted list like so. Um, we can add them to the unordered list and apply the appropriate classes. Now in the Bootstrap documentation uh, we have several different options for uh, navigation. If we look into the components section of the documentation and go to navs you'll see that we have some options for what our navigation looks like. We can have our navigation look like tabs, we can have it look like these pills, uh, we can have justified navigation. Um, I'm going to go with the pills look uh, for this particular website. Um, you'll see that the class here that we have to apply, we have two class names. We have the class nav to tell it that it is part of the nav component and then we have nav-pills to tell it that uh, we want the pill style of layout in our navigation. There's also an option here to add a class of active to whatever page is currently the active page. So I'm going to add that to the home page because we'll assume that we are working on a template for our home page. So I'm going to copy my nav and nav pills class and type it into my Dreamweaver page. And on my home page, I will also add the active class. 
And when we do that, you'll see that our Dreamweaver preview no longer shows um, our navigation as a bulleted list. It has adjusted the layout just a bit. Nope, I just noticed I put my class active on my hyperlink instead of on my list item. There we go. So that will properly indicate which one is active. However, of course, this does not quite look like we really want it to look, and I want you to realize that the preview in Dreamweaver, well, my rule of thumb is never trust Dreamweaver's preview. Um, it is not running the full version of, of jQuery behind it. It's not running all of the JavaScript that Bootstrap requires in order to make this functional. Um, so there are a few things that you will not see in Dreamweaver's preview. The only way to get a true preview of your page um, is to look at it in a real web browser. Yes, I know they've got this live feature. It works in some instances. It's not perfect. Um, therefore, I generally just don't trust it. I skip it and I will use a real browser. So if I want to preview my page, uh, I can use the globe icon in Dreamweaver, choose what browser I would like to pull it up in, save my file, and now I can see the proper result of my page layout thus far. So always use a full browser for your previews. Never trust Dreamweaver's preview. There's a few housekeeping things here. Um, our original page design uh, did not have a white background. It had sort of an off-gray background. If I was to take the color picker and pick that color, you'll see it's not um, F, 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 F. It is uh, F4, F4, F4. Uh, it is a shade of gray. Um, so there are certain things we're going to want to modify um, overriding Bootstrap's default CSS. So let's create ourselves a, a new CSS file that we can use as a custom CSS for ourselves. I'm going to create my file, immediately save it to my um, www folder. I'm going to put it into the CSS subfolder and I'm going to call it custom.css so that I know that this is my customized CSS and not the CSS that came with Bootstrap. So first off let's change our body background color to that F4 And let's save that and go back to our HTML and let's put a link to our CSS file so it will be applied. You want to put this after your Bootstrap CSS because anything uh, in your custom CSS, you want to override Bootstrap CSS. And if you remember the rules of specific specificity, the closest the um, CSS definition, um, the definition closest to the element being affected will be the one uh, that wins, so to speak. So we're going to link to our custom CSS file that we just made. rel equals stylesheet, type is text CSS, and we want this to show up on all digital screen devices. So if I save that and click into my Dreamweaver preview, you will see that the page background uh, turned to that gray color. So that is much better. So we've got our header section laid out pretty well. In our next step we will continue on coding the rest of the page.